Hey, Christine. Hey, I'm Yasser. I'm your hearing aids for a specialist. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Thank you. That's great. Why don't we move to my office and we'll have a little bit of privacy, okay? Sure. Come on. Okay, Christine, why don't you tell me about why you uh, come in today? Uh, Well, I was at a wedding a few months ago and um, I find it a bit difficult when I was at a table. I find a a sudden hearing loss in my right ear Mm -hmm. and it's kind of difficult for me to hear. And I'm only 20 years old. I shouldn't have any kind of difficulty hearing. And it's un- it's unusual for a person my age to be have an issue with the hearing. That's definitely a concern. Mm-hmm. Um, so if I understand properly, you're saying that a couple of months ago you were at a wedding and you had a sudden loss of hearing in your right ear. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes. Okay. Well, since the wedding, have you had any medical follow-ups as it pertains to your ears? Oh, yes, I did. Um, I seen my family doctor and he prescribed me some drops and I finished it and completed it. But um, I didn't get a chance to follow up with my doctor because I was quite busy with school. Well, I understand. We all, be, we all get busy, right? So um, as far as activities are concerned, do you have any activities that you feel are impacted by your hearing loss? Oh, yes. Uh, when I go to school, I have a bit of difficulty when, you know, during lecture time with the class making so much noise, I find it a bit of a challenge. As well as um, when I'm on the phone having a conversation, I normally hold the receiver in my right ear, and now I have to hold it in my left ear, which kind of feels awkward to me because I'm more right-handed. Mm. It sounds like this has had an impact on the people around you. Could you tell me about how you know interactions with people have changed because of your hearing loss? Oh yes, um, it's kind of a bit harder to have a conversation with friends, you know, and even certain words they may say. Like I had to ask them if they can repeat it themselves, and it's kind of a bit embarrassing. Mm, well, thank you for the information. I really appreciate that. Um, so. Um, I think that what we're going to do today is we're going to use a tool called an otoscope to take a look in your ear. And if everything is clear, we're going to go ahead and do a hearing test today. And then after that, we'll talk about your options. How does that sound? That sounds great.